Hi, Esther. Hey, Renji. How have you been? Good. You? Me too. I've been pretty good. What have you been up to? Working. Yeah, I've been working too. Okay, guys. It's been a long time since my last video that I made about my fuel tank. Um, it's been a long journey. Um, but I am happy to announce that I have now got my fuel tank installed. So, uh, I had made a decision that because my van is 31 years old, I originally was going to rebuild the fuel tank. Um, so I started to take it apart, clean it up, and I was siphoning out the old gas. When I discovered, um, as I was siphoning, there was some little flakes of the inner lining coming out, and uh, I was really contemplating about uh, keep going and and figuring out how am I going to clean that up on the inside. The inside is, is like a maze. It was hard enough trying to get the fuel out, let alone trying to clean up the inner lining, which was going to be impossible. So I decided I'm going to have to, to buy a new fuel tank um, because my van's 31 years old. Uh, I think it deserves it. The the original engine was rebuilt and I'm not going to risk having the inner lining of the original tank coming out and into the, into the, the fuel system and clogging up the, the filters. So that's what I did. I got a new tank. Uh, the new tanks that you get, they're not pre-painted and um, the original tank is actually not painted either. It's a galvanized a galvanized aluminum steel mix or something so it lasts a long time but it did eventually rust a bit on the top so uh, as I'm rebuilding it I'm thinking well why not paint the new tank and prevent corrosion from happening so um, I decided you know on painting it and and I chose the color to match my engine so it was sea foam kind of blue green my favorite color. Um, so I know you're not gonna see the tank and it's a waste of time on what color, but I already had the, the paint mixed up. Uh, and this is my project. I know it was done. It makes me feel good. So I'm doing what I wanna do. This isn't about other people. This is about my, my own project. So I, Gave it two coats of uh, oil-based paint. Uh, looks really sharp, and um, and I finally got it installed. So replaced the old filler neck with a brand new filler neck, and uh, the original tank came with uh, it had a a liner on the outside of the bottom of the of the tank. And I just, I was thinking, I was going to leave it out. I was just going to put the tank back without that liner, but I I think it's, it's kind of important to leave it in. So this is actually my first time installing a fuel pump. Believe it or not, I've been with these vans for 30 years, and this is the first time I've ever had to do it. <laughs>
The original tank had this uh, foam gasket material that separates the tank from the body. So I found some at my local hardware. It looks like this. So since chemo, my muscles have not been quite the same. Uh, I cramp up easily and um, my muscles are just, they, they exhaust fast. So uh, I have to take a lot of breaks and I have to work slow. So this is really sped up.
I cannot believe I did that. The filter's backwards. How could I have done that? Stephanie. Okay, so now I've, I've flipped it around. You can see behind me, I got my 93. Uh, it's getting really close. I was hoping to get it running by July. Uh, we'll see if I make it. It's now June. We're in the middle of June and um, getting close to finishing it. So here's a quick video shot of the work that I've been slowly doing, putting stuff back on the engine. Uh, here's the bracket for the steering pump. I got a brand new steering pump. Air filter has been cleaned up and painted. I got the trans the trans dipstick installed. Uh, filler tube is installed. So the exhaust manifolds are original to the van. Uh, I had to clean them up and paint them. And as you can see, they've been installed. And the brake lines are all new on the master cylinder. I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!